say the name wrong. It's bird verbatim, not bird vatum. That's my dyslexia. That's a sharp tendril that is right there. Anyway, styling I'm gonna say is about 80% uh, complete at this point. So, thought we'd give you a little spin of the goods. So, shellac, shellac, shellac. Gonna do a little bit of flyaway cleanup in here. Just started directing all the hair up, getting those down. So you can see where everything's been product. Let's get that nice sheen to it. This is all been shellac. This is in progress. This is in progress. And then we'll grease that down, shellac it the same. And then this little swoopy kind of comes over here, but we left some life in it. So this one piece is the piece that's being worked on uh, primarily tomorrow. There you go. I thought you'd like to see it. Pretty cool, pretty cool silhouette. Even got the bounce over here, this little temple bounce for you. Okay. Liberally, <clears throat> some 99% alcohol to reactivate the hairspray that we shellacked this with. Uh, because you don't want to keep putting, especially the hairspray we use, which is really hardcore for film and TV. Um, you don't want to get an excess of it. I'll do fine key points. So what I'm doing right now is precision styling. So you get a wig online, even a custom wig. It's generally what I like to call generally styled. Generally. Generally. And obviously what we do is screen accurate styling for all of our wigs. And then once the screen accurate styling is done, and again, that's about, that's trying to get into like the 95 percentile of matching something on screen. You're never 100% with anything, but you can get it that close, you're good. Um, so then we get into the precision styling, which is what I'm doing, which is at the surgical level, going in, and matching as much visual reference as I can, even these little sprigs of hair, according to the screen reference. And you'd be surprised at how much you can get away with in terms of coercing hair to do what you want it to. But you even see this, you see this, this little hair right here? That's a fine point and it actually does matter. I mean, you'll see little flyaways, little separations of hair here and there to make it look like it's real hair. You know, I don't want these, these tendrils and these sprigs completely dense. I want some see-through, I want some transparency because it helps with the illusion. It helps to make things look real rather than fake, even in a, in a very, very in a very um, stylized. stylized representation of a natural head of hair, right? So this is training it. I'm training it to do what I want it to do. And uh, he's basically done. I'm gonna go back up here and get those guys slicked out a little bit, give them some moisture, and he'll be ready to rock. All right. So we've got the Bird of Gotham Depend from his pin set, his storage set. And we're gonna be transferring him over to the client's personal storage block with their wig cap, which is part of their prep already in place. So Aaron is gonna take the remaining pins out and there's gonna be a little bit of fine styling and repositioning once we get this on the block, obviously, because this wig was built on the build block according to the custom pad out 
that we did from the client supplied custom head wrap that we walked them through, which gives an accurate topography and dimensions to their head. And when we pull this off, <clears throat> you can see a little bit of it peeking out. You'll see the full hero hairline and hair directional growth pattern plotting blueprint that was used to construct this wig. We'll show that in a minute. Aaron's gonna transfer it over to the block. Give her a little space to work. <laughs> that was impressive. All right, so while she performs that, we'll take a look at this because usually we'll focus on everything up close and personal because of the hero hairline, which you can see the diagram blueprinting of under here. It does have the actor's physical hairline, all of our wigs do, but if you know anything about the styling of this wig, which was built into the hair directional growth pattern plotting, so all the hair was ventilated and directed into the style set before we even cut or styled. Uh, but, and we talk about this frequently, whether or not you see it below the bangs is inconsequential. It's just like Galen up here. That custom wig has Johnny Depp's screen accurate hairline beneath the bandana, which is sewn in. You'll never ever see it. We also did the facial hair. Hey, okay, Galen. Uh, it's just one of those things we like to know it's there. In wigs that the hair blows back, that's why that's there. But uh, yeah, here you go. This was, um, this was intense. Two parts directed back from a central point. <clears throat> crown swirl here, crown swirl there. And um, right here, I mean, you're looking at probably eight hours of work just to plot all this out. But it really comes into play once we get it onto <laughs> the block or the client. He looks great. He looks really great. Yeah, he's he's looking a little thick because he's on he's on a block that is not dimensionally accurate as this is to the client. But it it's fine for presentation. We'll pin him down a little bit. We'll do a little bit of light flyway cleanup. But there you have it. You want to bring him over to the tripod? Cool. Well, I can't get him off the tripod. There we are. All right. So as we always like to point out. Yeah. Right, the oh, thank you. As we always like to point out, <clears throat> color is never subjective. And even though this is a black wig, trust me, it's not all black. It's got a lot of brown in there. Highlights, lowlights. There's probably five, I think. No, no. Four, or five. Four or five central colors. Cool. So this will be, yeah, this will be going to uh, Bird Verbatim, who does an amazing Bird of Gotham cosplay. And pictures of this will be up on the website soon. We're gonna go ahead and do a photography session right now. And it's amalgamation. I mean, this is, you know, this is some of the central stuff. When the client comes back here, she, you know, she'll pin this into the nape so you get that volume down. All those minor little adjustments, but even for just a basic transfer without the pins, I'm really actually very happy with this. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do a photography session and uh, get this on the website. The brand new website launching in just a few days. And we hope you guys have enjoyed this look behind the scenes. Why don't you talk a little bit more about our virtual crew? Right, yeah. Uh, you know, for anybody who's followed our Instagram with any regularity over the years, you've seen us probably, what, at booths, at cons. We, we spent five years <clears throat> traveling around the country, crewing our clients live, applying their wigs during our live exhibitions. We would go to their hotel rooms where, uh, gosh, awesome con. Dragon con. Dragon con. New York Comic Con. New York Comic -Con, Con. Uh, San Diego. San Diego All-Star Comic Con. All Star Wars, Star Wars Celebration. We did two years of that. Uh, to be on site as our client's personal wig crew. But that is 20% of our client base. The, the 80 percent that we have trained, we've done virtually since 2015. We were the first to do it. Uh, we brought that into feature film and television now in the COVID era. It's working, it's working really well. Uh, but yeah, getting on with our clients from point of delivery, we monitor the delivery of the wig to the unblocking, to depinning, to application or crowning. And again, crowning is a term that we coined uh, crown your cosplay is, is a hashtag only for, you know, for our esteemed clients. 
uh, crowning applications. That's all our terminology. It is trademarked. Uh, to repeat sessions, to being what on standby, on call for photo all of shoots, for their conventions. photo shoots, their conventions, their live in-person appearances, their virtual cons. We get up at the crack of dawn, sometimes before. We have clients all over the world, and that's why we have to do it virtually. And we'll even start at the very beginning by going live with them if they need us on camera for their bubble wrap. Exactly. We walk them through the entire process. It's free. It's unlimited. We form, we broker a, a highly personalized professional relationship with the client, free of charge. And all we ever ask is that they credit us and tag us in every post they make wearing one of our pieces. So that's, that's what's going on here. This is going now to the client and we'll jump on with them. We've already had a pre-interim fitting. We do fittings, what, about the halfway point? We did two with, with her actually. We did one at the very beginning before it was cut and then we did a slight um, uh, we did initial a, cut fitting. Mm -hmm. And so now this is, that gives us we can see sizes, mm -hmm. dimensions. We can make any alterations or notes that we need to make once we see it in action on the client's head. So we're also the only studio that does that. Um, and it's just, it's our way of, of providing as, as perfect uh, and accurate a reproduction piece as we can to bring the client's vision home and let them live in the skin of their hero. All right, Lindsay, the bird of Gotham is ready and on its way to you. We are ready to your cosplay. Okay, here we go. All right. Shroud time. Shroud time. This is a very different process with each wig. It is. So luckily, um, this precision pin set that Travis did is already giving me a base to lock onto with all of these. I'm just sort of testing where it's going to sit well. So it'll rest on top of all these pins and it won't compromise the hair. And that way, in our shipping, I'm gonna put it right here because there's an indent right there. Yeah, that's perfect. And the shipping, it adds one more layer of protection. Right. Perfect. And the case itself is further stabilized by a central peg it's hard shell. This is Lindsay's case. And the box is also custom to the size of the case. So it actually amazes me, I'll, I'll be really honest, how well these things arrive uh, virtually untouched out of the box. I mean, we have a really good shipping center yeah. uh, that we've worked with for a long time, and they know our protocols, and they're very specific. And we Figured it out down to the milla. Down to the dent. Down to the dent. So. All right, protective we'll shroud. A couple more just to block the size and keep it pinned in so mm -hmm. it doesn't dance around because you never know who's going to be handling this or right. what kind of day they're having <laughs> or if it's Ace Ventura. Right. <laughs> cool. Out. I'm really happy with this one. Me too. Yeah, it looks great. All right. All right. Ready to go? All set. Let's okay. Relax. Right. So there's uh, gorilla tape on this. Mm -hmm. That gives another added layer of protection and adhesion. Stability. Stability. And then. It's just like a record, a record sleeve. sleeve. Yeah. I'll just pop those pins, pins down a little bit. We can push them down, no yeah, problem. Absolutely. I'd rather start there than. There we go. And then it'll press up against the case mm -hmm. too, which is nice. Slow and steady wins the race every yep. time. That's right. There it goes. Got it. Got you. You. Cool. Not bad. Minute to, minute to case up. Yep. Very good. Cool. And then that'll protect all the front stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double zipper. Yep. 
and ready to go. Honest way to you, dear client. Thank you very much. Be a pleasure crowning this cosplay. Thanks, Aaron. It's made with unicorn hair. down to the dent.